Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my studio. So today we actually have a very very exciting sea animal set right here, okay? This set is known as the Ocean Sea World set. It looks fantastic. So let's open this up, review it, and place them into our collection boxes right here after we have unboxed it, okay? So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's take a look at this wonderful new set right here, okay? Ocean Sea World set. It doesn't have any brand to this, so I think this is like a generic, um, you know, sea animal set. It looks fantastic. So let's open this up together, shall we? Okay, so um, I think we have to cut the figures loose, okay? So let's go with this hammerhead shark first. Let's cut the strings loose. But I think there's something tight to the bottom of the box So we definitely need to open the box up as well So let's do this Alright, let's get the sea animal figurines out from the box Wow, seems like it's stuck Okay, let's try our best Alright We've managed to get the compartment out so you can see there are a couple of um, screw holes right here We have to uh, untie them to release the figure So this is quite a lot of work Alright guys, so all the different sea animals are out of the box So let's have a look at this one first I think I'm most excited about this sea turtle right here guys This one looks fantastic So, But the fin is still stuck to the box So let's cut this loose, be really careful Alright, so what do we have right here guys? Let's have a look. It seems to be a green sea turtle, but there are some wires surrounding um, the flippers. So let's try to release him. Okay, so that's the first wire removed. Let's remove the other one as well. Wow, let's see. Let's see what is written right here. It's basically known as a sea turtle. Very beautiful. I think this sea turtle looks fantastic. It comes with... Um, Movable flippers All the four flippers can be moved Um, It's made of like hard plastic You can even move the head which is awesome Or you can actually push it in and pull it out as well So this looks really really fantastic Love this figure a lot Let's have a look at the other one Here I think we have a Thrasher Shark Okay so we can definitely put this Thrasher Shark figure Into our Shark's drawer, our Shark's box so you can see the name is written right below Thrasher Shock Nicely written below um, I think in terms of the detailing This is not like a super fantastic figure But I still feel it looks pretty good Okay, next up What do we have right here? I think we have a lobster You can see the two huge claws So it's definitely not a spiny lobster But let's see whether there is a name written right below Let's try to find it not exactly, but I think it's pretty obvious that this is actually a lobster. Yeah, beautiful. What about this? These are basically some sea corals, I guess. So what is written right here? It basically says coral, but I think they have written it wrongly. It should be like corals. Yep, you can see two little fish right here. They're probably clownfish. Can't really tell. But, you know, beautiful backdrop. You can actually use this as a backdrop in the future. Next up, wow. This hammerhead shark seems to be attached to um, this. Oh, but you can actually remove it. Shall we just remove it? I think we have a little um, screwdriver. So we can definitely remove it from, from here. Let me try to remove it. Okay, so let's try to remove this figure. I mean, the sea corals from... The hammer is shock, okay? I think they should be separated. I think it will look better if we do it. So let's try to remove this. Wow, it's difficult. Okay, guys, so you can see we have finally removed this hammerhead shock from the sea corals. Let's have a look at what is written right here. I don't think there's any name to this. So you can basically find some really beautiful sea corals right here. We can definitely use them as like backdrop for our future videos, okay? And this is the hammerhead shark with a movable head, which is awesome. So I think these two flippers can be moved as well. The tail can 
move two, which is cool. So do you guys know what is the function of the hammer head right here? So imagine, okay, just imagine if this is like a little prey that the hammerhead shark would like to eat. So it basically uses hammerhead to press it down while it feed, you know, with its mouth like this. So yeah, the hammerhead is actually very useful. I mean, this portion right here of the hammerhead shark is actually super useful, okay? So we have so far a sea turtle, a hammerhead shark, a thrasher shark, as well as a lobster. We have two more figures right here. So this one, what is this? If you ask me if this one seemed to be, it looks like a nurse shark. I'm not too sure, let's have a look. A zebra shark, but it doesn't have any um, you know, patterns or spots. So it's really hard for, for us to tell that it is a zebra shark. But if you put on the stripes or the spots, it may look like a leopard shark or a zebra shark, which is awesome, okay? Next, what is this? This one seemed to be either a king crab or maybe like a spider crab. Let's see. Let's see whether there's any name written right below. Don't think so, but it's a fantastic figure, okay? All right, so I think it's time for us to place all these figures into the respective boxes, okay? So let's do this together. Okay guys, so let's place this hammerhead shock into this box right here. So as you guys can see, this box contains a lot of figures which are very similar to this hammerhead shock. In fact, we have two identical hammerhead shock figures right here. So you can find my other figures such as the goblin shock, some of the um, great white shocks as well. We have some all cars as well. So this box is basically used to put some shocks, some wheels which are kind of big to be placed in this small little box, okay? Next, I'm gonna put um, the lobster into this. You know, this box basically contains plenty of crustaceans, all right? So you can definitely put this king crab into this box. Maybe this turtle can be placed here as well, all right? Next, we have two Sharks right here, Thrasher Shark. We'll definitely go into our Sharks collection. And this is basically our Zebra Shark. I mean, in case that you guys do not know what is a Zebra Shark, this is basically a Zebra Shark, just to show you guys, okay? A Zebra Shark. This one as well. Yep. So I think this one, it definitely has the shape and the sculpt of a zebra shark, but it doesn't have the patterns. But still a great looking figure. For the chorus, I'm going to put it in um, this box right here. Okay, similar to this as well. So, yep, into this box. So, yep, there you go. We have three. I mean, we have a brand new set. And check this out, guys. There is another set for us to open up. Maybe you can open this on Sunday. So, stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel for more videos, okay? Alright, oh, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.